Hi, I'm Pip Holler and this is Being Human, where I talk about what it means to be a person and share like tips and things you can do to actually improve your wellness. So today I want to talk about the mighty yawn. I've talked about laughing, I've talked about crying as ways of releasing stuff from the body. So like laughing releases um, fear and crying releases sadness and hurt and uh, stress hormones directly in your, in your tears. But today I'm going to talk about the mighty yawn, as I said, because the yawn is a way, a great way of releasing tension from the body, actually releasing tension from our physical body, from our muscles. When we yawn, we take a lot of oxygen in and that helps the, 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 um, the muscles to relax. So, I mean, if you've got a cat or a dog or if you've been, or horses or any animals, actually, if you, if you observe animals, mammals, all our fellow mammals, they all do quite a lot of yawning. The yawning is absolutely brilliant. We, most of us in our cultures, most of us have got some idea that yawning is rude or we've got to hide it, we've got to suppress it. But as they know very clearly and say very clearly in Ayurveda, suppressing of any natural body function causes illness. That includes yawning. So let's reclaim yawning. We're going to have a little go now. First of all, I just want you to pay attention. Close your eyes for a moment and pay attention to just how you feel. Have a little think like, what's your level of energy, your level of tiredness, any brain fog, any kind of stress level you can be aware of, any aches and pains in your body. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to yawn and we're going to yawn. I'm going to start yawning and you'll find that probably you're going to join in because yawning is very contagious. You might also laugh, feel free, but just keep yawning and yawning and yawning. You, you might have to practice yawning to get the really get the hang of it. We're going to yawn for two minutes. She's stretching. If you want to, you can put your hand there. I don't know when it became rude to yawn. What's the problem? Somebody yawns, you can see inside the mouth, so what? I love it. Once you get the hang of it and you reclaim it, it is so enjoyable. <laughs> ah, sometimes you have those yawns, they seem to go on forever. You can't quite, ah, like a sneeze that wants to come, you can't quite do. You keep going and, and they'll come out in the end. Let your body move if it wants to. When you'll see when your cats, they're so relaxed, aren't they? They're relaxed and then they get up and they stretch and they yawn. That's what we need to relearn. Ah, must be nuts doing this and putting it on public domain. <laughs> anyway, let's do another one. Ah, ah, that's two minutes of yawning. So I hope you were yawning. Oh, you might have just been laughing at me, in which case you have to watch it again. <laughs> A laugh, which of course will have made you feel better, but try the yawning. And just pay attention now, maybe close your eyes if you need to, or just put your attention inside yourself and think, hmm, how do I feel? Do I feel any different from that yawning? Yawning gets oxygen into the body, it releases tension from the body, it switches on the parasympathetic nervous system, which is, as you know, the place where healing happens, repair, healing, regeneration, rejuvenation. Thanks for listening and thanks for yawning. I'm Pip Waller and this is Being Human. Bye. <laughs> ah.